How are you? All right, this evening we are going to be talking about genomics, the quest for personalized care. My name is Sarah Tegender, National Sales Manager with Nutrametrics. And um, just to give you a brief background about our host this evening, which puts on this call, which is Nutrametrics Custom Health Solutions. Um, company is a complete suite of customized cutting edge solutions. And we do this exclusively for health professionals. Um, we give a wide variety of products and services. And our goal is to better serve patients, but at the same time, gen generate some ancillary income for practices across the country. We really, we give relevant information and training because it's an ever-changing healthcare industry. We started in 2014, uh, and it has grown to a $40 million division. And our mission statement is that at Nutrametrics, Custom Health Solutions, we believe patients should have access to recommendations for healthy living and products that promote optimal wellness from their trusted health professional. So therefore, everything we do is focused on helping health professionals implement customized wellness programs that benefit both the patients and the practice. We do this by providing our health professionals with science-based nutritional interventions, revolutionary technology, wellness-based education systems, and trained implementation consultants. Nutrametrics is changing the face of healthcare, one health professional and one patient at a time. This month, um, I am joined by Valerie Myers. Valerie is a, she has a master's in license, oh gosh, Valerie, you're gonna have to forgive me, license counseling. <laughs> Um, and if I mess this up, you'll have to help us out when you jump on. And uh, Valerie is the owner of Child Mental Health and Child Health Mental Health Therapist at the Kids Therapy Center in Bismarck, North Dakota. I absolutely love talking to Valerie because I could listen to her all day long talk. So I hope you guys enjoy Valerie's accent as much as I do. Um, Valerie Myers has been helping children and families for over 10 years now. And in her practice, she utilizes Nutrametrics and provides education on wellness-related issues that can positively impact children and their families' life. And, you know, we have hope here with what we're doing with Nutrametrics and working in the field, um, where we, one of our products, or really our, our service, is our Nutrametrics gene snip DNA analysis. And we brought this in because, you know, whether we want to call it personalized medicine, lifestyle medicine, I mean, we, there is hope that nutrigenomics is going to enable personalized dietary advice. It's still really at its infancy, and every single week new studies are coming out, but its contribution to public health over the next decade is going to be huge. That we know for sure as it continues to grow and get adopted by providers like Valerie Myers. Um, it has been described as the influence of genetic variation non-nutrition by correlating gene expression or what we call our SNPs, so they're single nucleotide polymorphisms. And with the nutrients absorption, metabolism, elimination, or biological effects. And nutrigenomics, we're aiming to develop rational means to optimize nutrition with respect to the patient's or client's genotype. And we're really at the beginning of this national trend, and there's only some practitioners who are early adopters to this exciting addition to clinical practice. Again, Valerie Myers is one of them. And so we're excited to hear her experience tonight. So Valerie, did you make it, and how bad did I mess up on your degree? <laughs> are you here with us? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Masters in licensed counseling, I'm a license, is that right? Yeah. I'm a licensed professional <laughs> clinical counselor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, for anyone who has been following us or was on last month, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I had a baby a month ago. And so I, I don't know, is baby brain, I'm not sure if that hits some people genetically harder than others, but <laughs> we were just talking about our kids before we hopped on the call. Um, and, you know, Valerie, when we, we had talked, I think, back in January, and we talked about how a lot of practitioners have a very basic understanding of nutrigenomics, um, and, but it's been more prevalent in recent years. And, you know, we've heard about it, I know for me, when I just spent a lot of time at my 
um, OBGYN's office, I see a lot of advertisements for, you know, whether it's the BRCA gene analysis or things part of prenatal care and doing genetic analysis um, before a baby is born. But there's kind of almost nothing you can do from a diet and lifestyle perspective if you test positive in those instances. And that's where I think that personalized genetics with personalized nutrition and lifestyle medicine is different. And some are even calling it actionable genetics. And um, many practitioners haven't been educated, but I remember you telling me back in January that this is something that you had been educated on. So where did you get this education? Where are you finding the latest genomic research? Well, I mean, just like anybody else, you know, my master's in counseling, of course, I got no genetic training in, in uh, formal schooling, um, so I had to seek it elsewhere. So um, in, in the mental health world, we follow a lot of uh, the neurological disorders such as autism and ADHD and stuff. And so in that training, we, um, they're starting to focus more and more on genetics, just like um, we're seeing in other fields, we're starting to see more and more genetics. So it is newer um that we've been getting the education so that's kind of where some of my formal education is coming from is that uh just like everybody else it's reading the research as it's coming off the press to uh mm. try to stay up with what's going on and what's changing mm. is the research starting to come to you are there like certain people you're starting to follow on social media or um or you um, know what are you seeking this out are there are there courses are starting to get the you know credits for it continuing ed credits yeah, you know, um, I follow a variety of autism groups. Uh, they focus on genetics, um, the MTHFR groups, um, mm. such like that. Uh, you know, Dr. Lynch, um, uh, the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, you know, we, you know, I continually am following some people that are commonly posting about genetics and how the body's working and whatnot. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is. Uh, you know, really through Market America is Dr. D finds something and she throws it out there, then I'm looking and looking into that article and other articles that are related to it um, yeah. within the field. Right. It, so Dr. it is a hard Dr. topic. Yes. It's it's so hard. Yeah, no, I know. And that's why I, I, I want to just start with this because I think a lot of people are going to say, all right, let's this information and let's see where where it is or maybe they haven't heard of nutrigenomics yet so dr deidre mason who's our clinical director and i um, are excited because we're doing a five city boot camp tour specifically on um, genetics and weight loss in clinical practice um, separately and combined <laughs> weight loss and genetics so um, not just together but and uh, so we're coming to your area, which is very exciting. So I, I know that you've invited a couple of people, I'm sure, to this call. Um, so we will be in the Bismarck area. But um, but it is, it's been challenging. A lot of practitioners, they say, you know, I don't, I don't know where to find this. Um, and so we, I do believe Nutrimetrics is cutting edge. So it's good to hear, you know, we're one of the places that you're looking for this information and to guide you with articles. Um, you know, every scope of practice is going to have a different focus, and especially when it does come to genetics. You know, a physical therapist might be interested in athletic performance, an obstetrician on fer fertility, bariatric surgeon on obesity. You know, but when you're ordering a genetic test for a patient, where are there certain genes, you just mentioned the MTHFR, but are there certain genes that you have an interest in because of your scope of practice? Yes, you know, our gene SNP is pretty amazing and fun to read for um, anybody in any way that they're looking at it. But specifically in the mental health field, there's about a dozen genes that I'm watching for or genetic mutations um, within our SNP. Um, because sometimes when I get a patient, uh, it could look like one thing, but it could easily be another. And so that's what I like about the SNP is that it can give me more clear guidance about it. Um, but for example, some of the SNPs that I look at besides uh, MTHFR, where they don't absorb their B vitamin properly, um, you know, we commonly see that one in um, the autism, ADHD world type, those type of children. But if I get a child that comes into my clinic, and I'm saying children because I work primary, primarily with children, but... Uh, um, it can be for adults too. And so if I get a child that comes to me that is defi defiant and impulsive, 
um, and whatnot, they might have the label of ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder. But when I do the SNP, and it might come back, say, for, say, BDNF, which is where they have a hard time learning from their mistakes, typically. But uh, say they come back COMPT instead, and COMPT we might see more with uh, symptoms of an ADHD-type child. But those specifics as a clinician give me better ideas of how I can best help turn down those expressions uh, with our supplementation. So it can be very fun um, to be looking at these different SNPs uh, to better help our patients um, in the mental health world, particular in my area. And it's been really exciting um, to have a test that is open for children. Were you doing um, genetic screening before you found this test that you could offer to kids? Um, well, uh, I had somebody else do it. I wasn't um, the one doing it. Um, hmm. But yes, it, but it wasn't as I wouldn't say I couldn't see as many uh, SNPs in one test. We just tested for mm -hmm. MTHFR at the time, uh, okay. and that was pretty much it. You know, so now I have a wide range of SNPs. Um, I'm sure so I like this one. To having it in house is nice. Not sending it out. You could just make it really convenient for the patient, and we can yeah. do this right now, right? <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you find? Um, that then once you do this, do your patient's parents, does it spark their interest to look at their genetic code as well? Yes, it does. Um, very much so. I have many families who decide to do the whole family um, or uh, the family members with symptoms in their family if they have uh, something going on just because they learn so much from the SNP. Right. Um, it's It's very fun, that's for sure. Uh, you know, I prob I would say I've probably done just as many adults as I have children with the SNP already, um, just because mm -hmm. word gets out and people are very interested in it. Um, and we, in our wellness track in the clinic, which is uh, the part that we work with diet, supplementation, and genetics, we ex any age uh, individual can come to us for that, um, for mm -hmm. that, those procedures. I bet you're getting a lot of um, just notoriety through word of mouth, but we talked, when we talked last time, we um, were talking about a large hospital in your area that's doing genetic testing and that, you know, um, that, you know, patients have started to ask for it. And, you know, so I was just wondering how, how is this gaining in the marketplace? Are our clients asking for it um, or how are you, um, offering this test to clients? Are you packaging it with anything else or is it just standalone? What's been your experience? Yes, um, so we do have advertisement in our area from hospitals that do genetic testing and with their testing they advertise uh, finding the right medications. And so people will ask about that and we talk about how our test is not about finding the right medications but finding the right uh, wellness plan for them, such as diet and supplementation to help turn down the um, gene expression. And that is more interesting to them because they would prefer to be medicine free, most people would be. Um, so with it, uh, yes, it's word of mouth, but I also do um, public speaking within the area. And so through that, um, within the clinic, we have a newsletter and we have um, TVs in the clinic. Um, we do. Um, the TLS classes in the clinic, or we call it, we have another class called the Natural Family Living class, and that is where we teach families to uh, eat per basically uh, their mental wellness. Um, so it's TLS, and sometimes it'll be gluten and dairy free as well. But uh, in that, we also talk about our genetic SNP that we can do. Um, so there's a wide a wide variety of ways that somebody could hear about this within the Bismarck area. Because um, in the, in the SNP that we have, it's it's 48 genes, and 22 of them are related to obesity. So there are a lot of obesity factors. Um, so could you just expand upon a little bit more how this has helped these TLS classes? So TLS is Nutrimetrics is weight management. Um, system that we have and TLS Select is the track that we have for health professionals based on low glycemic impact eating, targeted supplementation, education, 
and uh, moving your body mass. And so tell us a little bit about how the genetic test has helped enhance those results. What's helpful about it is that uh, it lays out the supplements that uh, the, the patient may will need or could use to uh, benefit uh, more. It also helps us lay out when looking at those obesity index uh, SNPs uh, to be more specific per that person. So uh, it's very fun to see which ones might need green coffee or core uh, if they have the, the LEP gene or whatnot so that we can help them uh better to lose weight at, in a better way um per their body which is very fun um because we have a lot of patients that you know yes they have weight management issues but they've tried a lot of things and a lot of things haven't helped them um and so then they come to us so that we can test and not guess uh what's going on with their body to get them uh where they would like to be in a healthy state so nice, especially if you've tried other things in the past and they haven't worked. It can get frustrating to just try something else. You know, it's, it's so nice and you can get right to exactly what's going to make a difference. Um, right. And I know you've made so many differences in so many family lives that you've touched. And um, so how has this allowed you to personalize your care for your patients and differentiate yourself for, and your practice? and I don't know if you have any testimonials you'd like to share with us. Yes, you know, we have a lot of stories. And, and you know, I look back at before the gene SNP and how I practiced, uh, you know, as your basic mental health counselor. And I, you know, we do play therapy, art therapy, tantra work. I specialize in trauma, child abuse. Uh, you know, and when I would get a child, especially with neurological difficulties, uh, defiance and autism and ADHD, you know, we use behavior modification and parenting skills and most people would try to use medicine and we would see that that wouldn't help lots of times. And basically, you know, as a clinician, you wouldn't, you would try and you would give the skills to the parents, hoping that uh, they could get their child on the right track. Um, with the gene SNP, we are now able to say okay this gene is expressing too high or too low and we can help turn that down and with that we're, we'll probably see some of these symptoms change so for example like uh um you know and we can see this within the mental health world such as far as depression anxiety as well uh you know i think of a 17 year old boy that i saw um last year and uh, he had came to me um uh, he had battled depression most of his life and anxiety, and he had been institutionalized for his uh, suicidal thinking and how severe his thoughts were. And, you know, we when he first came to me, he had started the product and he had started uh, TLS and actually uh, the rapid results. So he was going gluten free and whatnot. Um, and we did the SNP right away and it takes five to six weeks to come back. And he was doing well and lots of his uh, mood had stabilized and his thinking had stabilized. And then when we got the SNP back, we realized a couple of different SNPs we needed to change. And basically in the end, his serotonin levels were low. And so we upped, uh, we upped it with uh, core. And within, um, it was probably two months, he really stabilized oh, quite a bit. And this child wasn't even going to public school anymore because he was so feared to go out in public as well um, and whatnot. He just could hardly battle, stand his own mental health basically. Well, so here, he, here we are now a uh, good year later, and he now is graduating from high school here shortly, and he has a job. And to think, you know, his mom never thought that would have ever happened, at least not for years. And she, she hoped for graduating from school, let alone have a job as well, because um, we were able to stabilize his mental health. You know, that's one. Some of the other ones that I get frequently are like, I get a lot of little kids, like four or five years old, and they might be hyperactive and defiant, and they are getting kicked out of daycare and out of schools quickly and stuff. And in Bismarck, we don't have a lot of resources. So if your kid gets kicked out of daycare, uh, parents have to stay home with them because we don't have specialized uh, schools or daycares for them in our area. Um, anyway, so with it, you know, a lot, when I would first get these kids, I might have said, okay, let's go gluten-free. 
um, and try to really focus on diet because diet's huge in the mental health world. But lots of times we would still have some issues with defiance or whatnot. But the SNP allows me to look at is it BDNF, MTHFR, COMPT, or all of them. And when I can then take um, and say, okay, we're going to stabilize more with B and magnesium because of MTHFR and BDNF, then um, we can move the patient to a more stable uh, lifestyle quicker, um, which has been really nice um, to be able to even have some ideas of where to go with goals with these patients because sometimes we don't know. Um, we just try to keep them safe or whatnot. Um, you know, and those are more major ones, but we also have the ones that are just more minor, like generalized anxiety, and here they have MTHFR, and they learn to live a non-toxic lifestyle, which we use Market America, SNAP, and other DNA line to uh, to help them live a non-toxic lifestyle, um, and then uh, using TLS to be able to learn to eat properly and relabel properly and whatnot. Um, we can help turn down some of these genes so that they aren't feeling anxious anymore or depressed anymore. Um, so it's very fun. Uh, you know, I always say when somebody says to me, well, you know, my dad or my grandfather is also anxious. So I just assume that I'll just always be anxious. And I'm like, no, 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 we don't mm -hmm. got to worry about that anymore. Um, we can do so much nowadays. Uh, with diet and lifestyle and with the SNP, knowing which genes are turned up too high or too low, it's very fun. Wow. That's incredible testimonials. <laughs> and I've heard you, we've, we've talked about these before and they still, they still touch me just as, as impactful as um, hearing this from you again. Um, and I know, I mean, I've been watching you, Valerie, on Facebook and I've tuned into some of your trainings and what you've been doing. I, I do think it is quite remarkable that, you know, when we talk about personalized care and we look at, you know, the scope of your practice and your clinic, that we're not just talking about, it's not about just the supplement um, and adding that. It's so much more. It's the whole lifestyle, um, the diet, the family, the family dynamic the non-toxic, I mean, I, I think that is just quite remarkable how far you take it. And that, I mean, it blows me away as someone also who, I mean, I've, I've grown up with my dad who is primary care. He was an OB, he's an OBGYN and a very busy private practice. And um, I know how, I've watched him in his office, how long he spends with each patient. You just don't have that kind of time. But it sounds like, you know, you've been able to take all of Nutrimetrics' tools and put them into such a value-packed care for your patients. Um, and that is just so remarkable. And your patients, I mean, how are they responding to all this? I'm very excited. To, they, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they feel like they have hope. You know, um, we get some of the hardest patients or some of the hardest kids, and they've seen, you know, a variety of health professionals um, from the medical world, and, and we're never given um, any hope. And that's something that I hear continually from my families is they feel like they have hope. They feel like they have steps that they can do to try to provide health for their family. Um, and then when they receive results, they're just stand by that it really is working um, and I think that's the biggest uh, the best feeling e ever when you know that these families are now able to send their kids back to school or just even go out shopping or t out to eat or whatever uh, they can start doing regular family things again um, that they couldn't before because of mental health issues um, that were happening within their family it, it is it's uh, it's very fun to have in the clinic. Um, and you're right, you know, it's not just the genetics, it's not just the supplementation. We try to, you know, I always say these are pieces of the puzzle. Um, the testing is a piece of the puzzle. Uh, the, the, the supplementation is a piece, the diet is a piece. Uh, being mindful and uh, spiritual or healthy in a certain way is also a piece of the puzzle. 
um, you know, so we do a variety of pieces of the puzzle, living non, a non-toxic life. So when somebody comes to me, no, it's not just going to be supplements. There's a variety of pieces of this puzzle to uh, to have a healthy lifestyle. And that's what's awesome about Market America is that I can use a variety of their products to help my patients um, be able to live this lifestyle. We're, we're so happy to continue to support you. Um, and we always thank you for the support and the the training that you've done, because I know, I mean, people have started to come to you and say, you know, what are you doing? And so I don't know if you could just speak to, you know, a lot of practitioners, they get excited about things and they, then they become really good at it within their own practice. But Valerie, you've taken time from your family, from your practice to go ahead and educate other practitioners about this. You know, what makes Nutrametrics so different that you feel like you want to share and train other professionals with this um, brand and this company? Uh, Nutrametrics allows us to um, duplicate pretty easily, right? Um, so what I'm doing is not rocket science. Yes, I had to learn about genes. They, I mean, Nutrametrics provides education on the genes now, which is awesome. Um, even in the gene snip packet, the resource, research is right there um, if you wanted to learn more about each of the SNPs that are right in our research. But, you know, as a helping professional, yeah, I want uh, my colleagues to be helping the um, way that I'm helping. Uh, I once was there where we didn't know what we were going to do with some of these patients, and this gives us direction for even our hardest patients. Um, uh, the education that we get from Nutrimetrics is wonderful and the, as far as the HP world uh, that we get. And even in the product training, I would say that to understand just some of the basic things can help our patients in a variety of ways. Uh, when in my team now, um, I have, I, I'd have to look how many counselors. I wanna say 10 or 12 counselors just in my um, team that are on their way of providing very similar patient care or are already pay providing the same patient care as I am um, within North Dakota and Minnesota. Uh, so it's, it's very fun to see more and more families helped at such a deep level. Hmm. And I thank you for sharing that and not just keeping, I mean, I, I work with a lot of practitioners and I meet a lot of practitioners in my line of business and, um, it always saddens, saddens me when people feel like there's, you know, just not enough business to go around. I don't know. They don't want to share what they're doing or they want to be the only one. And, and I love the environment that you've created where, like, well, we all should do it. <laughs> Let's all continue yeah. to help people. <laughs> there's enough. There's enough people that, that need to be helped, <laughs> for sure. Yes, yes, um, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, in Bismarck, we're a population of maybe a hundred thousand, and uh, you know, I mean, just in Bismarck, I have, I don't know, ten clinicians right there that are doing it. You know, uh, um, and there, it, it's not enough. It's like we all should be be providing similar care. Uh, I mean, it, we want to help at a better level, and in the mental health world, there is enough to go around. Um, nobody should be having to battle severe mental health issues anymore. Um, and I think that the gene SNP gives us that opportunity to help these patients at a better level um, so that they can feel better, better and healthy for a longer period of time. And as we're just getting started. I mean, just to reiterate, it is so new. Yeah. The research is so new. And, um, we, I think as we continue to get people together to talk about this and to talk about um, actionable genetics, personalized care, medicine, you know, whatever it is, I think we're just going to continue to elevate this conversation. And so I, I just, I can't wait I, to come out to Bismarck and, next month and um, have these discussions with you and with the practitioners that you work with and find out ways we can continue to provide, you know, better tools and better resources. Um, so I, I just want to end and just say, you know, if anyone who is on this call uh, has any additional questions about what Nutrimetrics is doing in the field of nutrigenomics, uh, you can email us at yourgenesnip, 
that's S-N-P, at Nutrimetrics.com, your gene snip at Nutrimetrics.com. And that GeneSnip.com is also a really great resource to read about some of these genes that Valerie Myers mentioned today, MTHFR, BDNF, COMT, some of the ones that, um, that she is using within her clinical practice. And the lens that Nutrimetrics and GeneSnip DNA analysis looks at these genes. And, you know, we, we're just continuing to roll out with more tools um, as the science continues to evolve and as we uh, see it gaining traction within clinical practices, Nutrimetrics wants to be the partner for those clinicians to, you know, like you said, it's a whole puzzle piece when it comes to genetics. I feel the same way from an implementation standpoint. There's a lot of moving parts uh, and we need to piece those all together to be able to, you know, provide really great service for both patients and practitioners. Um, and so then that way, practitioners can spend as much time with patients and their family as you do, Valerie, which I, I just think we need more of that in medicine. Um, so I don't know if there's anything else you want to add for, you know, someone, you know, let me, let's just end with this. Um, you know, for someone that is just looking at this for the first time, what do you think their first step should be when looking at a genetic product like DNA analysis? Um, to Well, I really like our website, GeneSnip.com. Um, it really kind of gives that brief overview and positive feel about the product and how it works. Um, it's Sometimes people hear the word genetics and they feel overwhelmed right away because they don't know what anything is like that. But to know that uh, you can, this GeneSnip is laid out very easy for the average practitioner like myself to be able to analyze it and better help their patients. Um, so I suggest to just become a little bit more educated to step outside your box and be able to do it. Thank you. That's exactly, that's where I send everyone to. So um, genesnip.com. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Valerie Myers, and being on with us this evening. Um, again, I, I do this every, the third Thursday of every month um, live, but we also always try to capture the recording. And so if you are listening to this recorded, um, we hope that you, you know, go ahead and, and look for that information that we've provided. Um, go to the website. And, of course, if you have any additional questions, talk to the person who sent you the link or invited you on this call, this webinar um, today to listen to because, you know, we want more people who want to help within this growing field. So thank you again to Nutrimetrics for being the host of this call. And thank you for our guest this evening, Valerie Myers. My name is Sarah Tegender, and I appreciate everyone's time tonight. Thanks again, Valerie. Thank you.